may have experienced a rough week this past week, just know this shall all pass. Check out the Dow Jones chart here, for example. It's the worst the market has seen over the past year, but fear not, my Link2 family, don't forget to zoom out. Check out the Dow Jones historically for the past five years, and you'll notice that we're still in an upward trend. It's not about timing the market, but rather time in the market. Remember, this is cyclical and everything shall pass. Downturns have proven to make for wonderful buying opportunities for us contrarian investors. Don't forget, you know, the downward pressure elevates companies with solid fundamentals straight to the top. Companies that are well positioned to weather the storm. Companies like Ripple Labs and our beloved Link2. <laughs> Available on our Link2 platform is the unicorn Ripple Labs. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse confirmed in a recent interview that Ripple has $1 billion of cash available on its balance sheet. That's a whole lot of cash. And on top of Ripple's rich financials, Ripple is hiring for hundreds of open positions all over the world. The open, the crypto markets had a rough ride this year, but for the industry leaders, the show goes on. Ripple, which operates one of the biggest cryptocurrencies, XRP, is expanding in Canada with an office in Toronto and a plan to bulk up its engineering team. Ripple CEO is longtime tech executive Brad Garlinghouse. Well, I think like several other moments of the crypto industry, you have a very early industry growing quickly and you're going to have pullbacks. Uh, you and I both uh, witnessed firsthand the earliest days of the Internet kind of Web 1.0. And certainly we saw some pretty dramatic shifts there where the, the e-toys and the pets.com died. But that doesn't mean that the technologies that underlied those uh, weren't successful. And we have obviously some of the, the most profitable, some of the most valuable companies on the planet now born in that era. So then what is this talk about a $1 billion Ripple cash reserve? Guys, we saw some important updates recently where the CEO of Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse, confirmed that his side had got enough cash on its balance sheet to the tune of a billion dollars worth of cash to fight through the bear market. And on top of the Decacorn firm's financial situation, Ripple is hiring hundreds of positions globally, both in person and remote. So if you're interested, feel free to apply using the link ripple.com slash careers. However, remember that they run a no a-holes policy over there. So should you be interested, don't lose sight of that. Is XRP about to shock the world? Those of us who've done our due diligence and did our research would know how the generational wealth is about to be shifted in the next couple of weeks. First, they dismiss this crypto. Then they block it, smear it. Then they accept it. Then they adopt it. At which point, the whales gobble it up. With the creation of its version of a central bank digital currency by the world's central banks, we're so close to having a world bridge currency. So close, guys. So stay tuned for more on that. In the meantime, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video and turn on the notification bell. Well, look, I think all asset classes contracted, and I think that's certainly obviously the true of Bitcoin. But I also think you have to zoom out. You know, two years ago this month, Bitcoin is about $8,000. Today, I think it's around twenty or $21,000. Now, I'm not leaving, like, I'm not pretending it didn't hit sixty-eight or $69,000 in between those moments. But the reality is, if you zoom back and look at what's happening in this market, I think you are seeing people recognize that non-inflationary or deflationary assets, particularly in a high inflation world, it, that matters and people will pay attention. But I think you do have to kind of zoom out and look at a longer arc of time to really assess, you know, where is this market headed? As Bitcoin continues to maintain support slightly below 20K, guys, remember that it's not all about timing the market, but time in the market. With that said, Do Kwan's newly refurbished Luna token, the Terra Luna Classic token, with the ticker LUNC, has been trending from a few days back as the hashtag LUNC has been all a rage on Twitter over the last couple of days. This one here says, Our hard work is paying off. Keep burning Luna Classic and keep supporting the movement. Retweet if you're still holding hashtag LUNC. This one quote is from Binance CEO himself. If you can't hold, you won't be rich. Let's pump it. Let's win 1-0. That's quite a pump. Hashtag LUNC, up the universe. And that tweet was posted on Sunday. And a few hours later, by the next day, there was breaking news. Massive pump is coming. Hashtag LUNC. A few minutes later, the price jumped even more. Hence this tweet. 1.3 trillion volume on a rolling 24-hour period. With just under $100 million being traded is absolutely phenomenal. Together, we're making history right here. Haters will fob this off as whatever they like. We call this community efforts paying off.
Next up, it says hashtag LUNC just hit $505 again. As you can see here, the market cap has increased to over $5 billion in the last few days. And then its price jumped even further, prompting more tweets in line with the trend. Luna Classic won't stop trending again, hashtag LUNC, where are my lunatics? Hashtag LUNC to the moon, we're up to 65.95%. Guys, is the few months old Luna Classic token experiencing an actual pump in price, even amid the bear market? Is this all hype, pump and dump, or the like? I don't know, you tell me. Rumor has it that this is just the beginning. As this coin is only warming up, huge breakout on its way. First it hits 0 0.0009, 0 0.002, 0 0.0037, then 0 0.01. Given the ongoing downtrend, Ripple CEO Mr. Garlinghouse went ahead to talk about the trying times while buttressing his side's strength in a series of tweets. Looking through that on the Twitter thread reader app, Days like today are never what you hope to see, especially in an industry with as much incredible talent as crypto. If you recently joined the industry and haven't seen a downturn like this, know that this too shall pass. Advice from someone who's seen a few downturns over the years. It's never easy, but there are a few key reasons why Ripple has weathered the cyclical bear markets, as we will do here and continue growing. Having an experienced exec team that's been through the dot-com bubble, 2008 financial crisis, 2018 crypto winter, and more. Focusing on the long term, Ripple has been building enterprise products with long term utility, not speculation. These are products that solve problems today, not ones in search of a problem. FYI, Q2 ODL volume, well over a billion dollars already, surpassed its target three weeks before EOQ. Operating with transparency, as a holder of XRP, we believe communication and transparency, including our quarterly market reports, are key to being a responsible stakeholder. We've been asking for regulatory clarity for years and been upfront about what is and isn't working. Paying attention, what's happening now is not a small market gyration. We've been preparing for this with a significant cash balance and thus can afford to keep hiring the best talent with a goal of 50% outside the US. The market is likely going to shrink in the near term, but I and many others have every ounce of confidence that crypto will succeed in the future as an integral part of our global financial systems. Slow and steady wins the race. In response to that, and as is customary with this crowd, Ripple and XRP enthusiasts didn't shy away from expressing their heartfelt bullishness for this coin, as they ascribed all sorts of price value to the XRP coin in a few years to come. Guys, tell you what, it feels good to see these crypto communities getting pumped up about their respective projects, even amid the bear market. Are you regretting getting your hands on some crypto? Well, you might want to have a rethink. Hey guys, I'm here to share a few very exciting updates. First, I'd like to announce probably what I would consider the most promising development surrounding that one. With that said, allow me to tell you about another value coin that could earn you some great rewards before the year runs out. I'm talking about none other than the Gold Secure Currency Platform that'll fetch you some great returns should you choose to invest with them. GSX, or Gold Secure Currency, is an innovative cryptocurrency that combines all of a cryptocurrency's best elements into one secured coin. This crypto project, with an asset backing of a secured asset trust, currently estimated to be worth over $7 billion, can facilitate growth like a traditional cryptocurrency, and they just announced its biggest mining update so far. Games ...are situated in Zimbabwe. The first is about 100 miles north of the capital, Harare. The second is close to a town called Mahaka. The Gold Secure Currency's parent company has thousands of acres across South Africa with two huge claims in Zimbabwe. The first is situated near the mineral-rich suburbs of Makaha with a significant gold reef that will allow for much easier mining and much more substantial amounts of materials to be mined daily. The other land claim consists of 2,500 acres close to the town of Karoi. Uh, small samples have been taken for testing and results have confirmed the presence of gold and copper as well as other minerals in the claim. We have already found the second near Chinhoi is estimated to have a landmass of around 2,500 acres of land rich in minerals, gold, copper, and other valuable metals. In addition, the firm is investigating other claims that have potentially large deposits of materials used in lithium battery manufacturing. The next few months will be some of the most exciting months for GSX. Right now, the price for this digital asset is significantly low, hence, it represents a tremendous buy opportunity and a very low risk buy in as these projects will go a long way to get the value of GSX to a dollar in no time. It would allow us to mine OpenCast, 
which would essentially allow us to extract substantially more uh, material per hour than mining traditionally with a shaft. The team behind this coin has recently been progressing in a separate project in Zambia that will incorporate a prominent local player and significantly add more value to GSX. So, how much investment potential does GSX have? Looking to get your hands on some? Well, for more information, the link to the company's website and other valuable information will be in the description. You know, Warren Buffett is well known for saying a lot of smart things. That one of the ones that I enjoy the most is when everyone is fearful, be greedy. When everyone's greedy, be fearful. And I, I think what you're clearly seeing happen now, there is a lot of fear in the market. But again, you know, whether you're, you're looking at the people who did and came out looking the best out of the dot-com crash or even the 2000, the Great, Rece uh, Great Recession in the late aughts, you know, these are people who had the uh, foresight to recognize that some of the pain is short-term. I mean, look, John, you and I have known each other a long time. There's a reason I have this gray hair, and it certainly is uh, a benefit at times like this to be able to say, I've seen this before. We are investing. Uh, we're continuing to hire at a time when I think a lot of people, there's a lot of fear, and a lot of people are pulling back. So back to the talk about Ripple Investing, as well as its investments, which is currently focused more on human resources. As the company expands further into Canada, it employs more hands, increasing its staff power and keeping the Ripple and XRP fire burning. On the other hand, investors and stakeholders can't express their joy regarding XRP's growth potential given these Ripple acquisitions. Here's my portfolio, including promising names like Ripple, Linktube, Tradeship, Dapper Labs, Kraken, Carbon, BitPay, EJust, Uphold, Blockchain Co-Investors. Actually, a fun to fund. Speaking of my portfolio, I'm most bullish on Ripple. They've revolutionized the cross-border payments industry globally, and legal analysts say that a settlement is likely, so I feel like I'm getting in at a discount.